Websites and apps, including WPBF 25 News, are back up Tuesday after being down for several hours. The problem related to an outage at Fastly, a cloud service provider. I spoke with Jim Margolis, the owner of a data security company, about the outage. But in one way or another, their service was interrupted. And because other companies, streaming companies, news organizations, depend on them for content, it caused outages all over the place. The outage impacted users in dozens of countries because the server hosts sites like CNN, The New York Times, Twitch, Pinterest, HBO Max, Reddit, and Spotify. Robert Fellman, the director of PC Professor, says there are some reasons this can happen to a cloud provider. There's places for them to go down. There's fails, and that's the problem. We're having areas that there's fails, and there's not proper fail safes to protect them. Fastly said it did identify the problem and fixed the issue. In this case, it doesn't appear to have been a security breach, but Margolis says he is seeing more breaches and says it's also the responsibility of the user to be aware of attempts to steal private information. People should have, be very careful about clicking links in emails and downloading things that, from unknown sources. I think the electronics that we're using and the protocols that we're using, the security measures that are in place are keeping us safer, but it is a never ending battle to keep up with the hackers. Coming up at 6 p.m., I also spoke to Margolis about the latest Amazon Alexa service that could be sharing your internet with your neighbors without you knowing and what you can do to stop it. Reporting live in Palm Beach Gardens, Anna Espinosa, WPBF 25 News.